Hi, my name is Megan. Welcome to the weekly vlog. Last night was the first night that we didn't all sleep in the same room, which was really weird. I'm about to head out to pick up the new chickens. Look at you. Oh. <laughs> Going on a hike. So today is Luke's birthday. This is the first time to give her food. This vlog is probably going to be a combination of two weeks just because it's been really busy lately and I have a lot of other videos that need to go up soon too, so when the vlog would have gone up, last week will be a broody hen video probably, and then this one will just have two weeks of vlogs in one video. So I didn't haven't been taking as many videos this week, because it's been a rough week with a teething baby. It's been really hard. So I'll try to, I'll probably have to cut out a lot just to make it not too long with two, but I definitely don't have quite as many videos as I usually do. I found some chickens for sale on an online ad and they're really close to where we live so I'm going to go pick up two leghorn pullets and two ostrilorp pullets on Friday. So tomorrow, <laughs> going to go pick them up tomorrow. I am turning into a total crazy chicken lady and it's really hard for me to not buy every chicken I see for sale. into the living room because Sophia has not been sleeping good and we were worried that maybe it was because we were being noisy while we were sleeping. This is the first time to give her food. We're letting her gnaw on an apple and she loves it. So last night was the first night that we didn't all sleep in the same room, which was really weird. And I was kind of nervous about it and I was kind of upset about it at first, but it went so unbelievably well. Oh my goodness. She went to bed at 8 and she slept until 1.30 and then she woke up again at 4.30 and then she slept until 7.30 in the morning. And she never wakes up only two times. She usually wakes up like four times and then cries a lot in between those because she doesn't want to get back into her bed. And this was also the first night in like months and months that she hasn't at least slept with us a little bit. Like I didn't bring her into our bed at all. She usually, once it gets to be early in the morning, like four o'clock, she insists on sleeping in our bed. Like she won't sleep unless she's with us. But she slept in her own bed until 7.30 and oh my gosh, I am so glad. <laughs> I'm so glad that we tried this because I'm feeling really good today because I got a good night of sleep that I, I haven't gotten one that well. For. 
for a long time. <laughs> Do you have stuff to say? Oh, no. So today is Luke's birthday and I've got some stuff planned for him. I made him a cake yesterday. <laughs> and then today I'm making some gluten-free hamburger buns and hamburgers. We haven't had those for a long time because it's hard to make gluten-free buns, but I'm really trying to find a recipe that works because <laughs> we like hamburgers. Oh. And I got him a present, which he's really, he really doesn't suspect because he always says, oh, you don't have to get me anything. I, I just want to be with my family. Hey, look. But this year I got him something. So I'm really excited to see what he He literally has no idea that I'm even getting him anything, much less what it is. So I'm so excited. <laughs> Look at you. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? walk for Luke's birthday. We're gonna go down to River Park and walk around. Sophia hasn't seen the river yet, so this is, this is gonna be fun. game that I got for Luke for his birthday. It's the two-player version of our favorite game. So this is gonna be really fun that we can play this. Uh oh. Okay, I'm back. Little Mrs. Happy Lee playing at the table now. Anyway, what I was saying, I'm really excited to be able to play this without having to have a big crowd to play it. So, this is gonna be fun. I think we're gonna try to play it tonight. I'm about to head out to pick up the new chickens. I'm so excited. I'm trying to time it so that Sophia sleeps in the car. So I'm gonna try to leave in 45 minutes. She should be ready for now about then and then hopefully she'll just sleep the whole time and I can pick up chickens without um, having a baby crying. <laughs> so I can't wait to show you guys. I'm so excited. I don't know why I'm so excited. I'm probably really weird, but I love chickens and I'm a crazy chicken lady and I'm not afraid to admit it.
Look at this big girl. This is the first time she's able to do this. Yes. A little help getting in the position, of course. Oh no, she's falling. Oh my god. You fell over. We're going on a hike. This is baby girl's first hike. It's very exciting. She's been so good. Hasn't cried once. Big. Give it to me. <laughs> I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> Work for it. <laughs> 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 It's been a few days since I filmed last. I kind of forgot that I was vlogging, I guess. So it's been a busy week and we've gotten a lot of stuff done. We didn't go to the market this morning, but it was pretty cold out and we just didn't feel like it. So that's fine. I finished planting my garden this week and I'll give you guys a little tour of it. So here's the rhubarb plant and my lavender plants, chives, sage, tarragon, oregano. And then here, and then all along this row, and then part way down that row, I have a bunch of tomato plants. There is a bunch of different kinds of tomatoes, and I don't really know which ones they are anymore because the tags blew away, but there are a bunch of different kinds of heirloom tomatoes that are all like cool colors, like tie-dye ones, and so I'm really excited to see. It'll be like a surprise, so that's gonna be fun. And that is an eggplant. And then last week I planted my green beans along here so they can grow along this, this trellis thing, and then I bought some beet seeds from Azure. I wanted to try out some different kinds, so I planted all these kinds right here. So I got all that planted, and then the chickens got in there and scratched all around, and so I don't even know if the seeds are there anymore. So we'll see if they actually grow, but I was so mad at those chickens yesterday. Oh my goodness, that was so, <laughs> so frustrating, because I don't even know if the seeds are there and if I should replant them or not. So I guess we'll see. I might be testing this out next year about those beet seeds. But other than making me really mad, all the, all the hens are doing really well. And the new chicks are doing really well. They're settling right in. So I'm just gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you in my next video. I post new videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. And I hope you guys are having a great day. Bye. Thanks.